fuck me. It's like sniffing lines. I've got it. Right at the bottom line. Right, pre-workout's in. We're gonna run for a full upper session today. We're gonna do two back exercises, a pull down in a row, then we're gonna do a chest press exercise, and then we're gonna do two tricep and two bicep exercises. Now in an upper session, usually you would have delts. However, in my other upper session, that's where I've got all my delt volume, so it's still split throughout the week. Today is just more of an arm focused day, whereas the other upper day is more of a delt focused day. And that's practically it. We're just gonna get kick started, do some warm up sets, feel a couple of the movements out, and then we're gonna get straight in. I need to be careful, no shit myself. Porn. I'll just do one warm up and then we'll kick in. Just so I can feel it right. <laughs> Full stretch, elbows in front for the movement, and a good squeeze at the bottom. Full stretch. And that's plenty, just a couple reps. So the point of the elbows in front is just to make sure your lats getting a full stretch at the top. Plain and simple, got seven last week, we're gonna go for eight at least, bare minimum. The reason we're using this is just for more of a neutral grip, that way I can actually wrap around it, because sometimes if you use like a mag grip, there's no way you can actually wrap around the handles, and that's not ideal. First set's always the most important, it sets the workout, so, wanna make this fucking good. So we got nine, <laughs> the entire time focusing on elbows as far in front as possible, just making sure the lat's doing all the work. And even whenever I'm like lowering it back up, I'm just thinking out in front of me the entire time so that the lat's just getting all the tension because you really want to feel it stretch. That's the entire point of that movement. Yes, you can get a nice squeeze, but the stretch is the main point of that pull down. And the reason for neutral grip is just that's the way the lat is more optimally gonna lengthen, Joe. You know, with your arm in front of you like this, like neutrally, rather than like a lat pull down, actually a neutral grip, shoulder width will usually actually work better for growing your lats. Ooh, on to the next. We're gonna do a one arm neutral grip row. So sort of similar to like a dumbbell row, except we're gonna do it in the machine. There's a normal handle on this. It's a bit of a supinated grip, so my grip can sometimes go. So I always put a D handle on it. And the reason for this is, see as I row, you can change the position, the angle of your hand to make sure you're getting a better contraction. Now I'll always row neutral and just focus on getting as low as I can, but it means that I can slightly come off the path of the machine and get a better contraction in my lats because a one arm row is all about getting your elbow to the base of your spine for a full contraction. That's what's gonna really shorten your lat and give you the most growth. You can see the writing on my fucking face. <laughs> Left my soul. <laughs> Next movement, we're gonna move over to the chest press. Only one chest exercise, three or four sets, and then that's us on the arms. It's not a long session as long as you make sure you time your rests and you're in round it, then you're, you're spot on. It'll not be that long. So if any chest press movement or any press movement, I'll usually use wrist straps. Just, see to be honest, that we would actually support never really goes amiss. And the same with elbow support at times, like as much as people sometimes don't like training with it, I'd rather just for security and it always gives me that wee bit extra push. 
and my wrists never get sore now because of these and these are quite long these are like powerlifting straps because they wrap a couple times and they are tight So, I actually matched reps there, but to be honest, that just felt a lot better than last week. Just slower, smoother reps. So, in my opinion, that's still progression. You're not always going to move up weights or reps. Sometimes just tidy and form is enough. And that felt far better than last week, so I'm fucking happy with that. Porn. All right, chest press done. On the arms. Like I'm in my mom's bedroom. So single arm push down. The reason we're using a cuff is so you don't have to grip anything. So grip isn't really overly to worry about. Joe, you know, sometimes your grip fails and you can't actually focus on the movement. So we'll slide this in. We're doing it one arm because we can get nice and stable against the machine. And the whole point is to finish with your hand behind your elbow and elbow behind body. So and that gives you a fully contracted tricep, making sure the elbow's behind at all times. Squeeze. For this movement, we're doing an over shoulder cable extension. So practically cuff in hand, hand on your elbow, out. And you want to make sure to get a full stretch and then a squeeze. Full stretch, squeeze. The reason your hands here is to keep that fully stable so you can focus and produce more force. The reason for this too is the last exercise was all about fully contracted. This gives you a wee bit more of a mid range to stretch for the triceps, so you're working the, the tricep for a full range almost. And that'll get you better growth, plain and simple. <laughs> right, those triceps done and dusted, six sets. We want to biceps now. We'll do preacher curl machine and then some incline curls. Preacher curl, plain and simple. You can do it two arms or one arm at a time. If, you, if you're struggling to get a connection on it, with a lot of people do, I'd recommend one arm. Turn out to the side and really focus on getting a good squeeze. But I just usually do a dual arm just because it's quicker and I prefer it. Just a wee warm up set. And a great cue to think about is always think of curling in the letter C. So out, stretch, and curl up and squeeze. For me, for a long time, biceps were such a weak point. They're still not great, but the thing is I found that not only overloading with like volume sets, reps is really good, but see just making sure that the movement isn't too heavy and that you're really squeezing it is probably the thing that's actually made my biceps come from per to probably like average at best. In my opinion, if you're not feeling it work, like you're curling and you're barely getting the squeeze or you're getting wee tiny bits, like you should fully feel the muscle squeeze and then stretch. If you're not, that's how you end up with weak points and that's how I end up with like a weak chest and a weak biceps for a long time period because I wasn't focusing enough. Last movement is incline curls. We've just done preacher which is almost fully shortening the bicep or getting it pretty shortened. Incline curls is going to get fully stretched. So whenever you're training arms always think about fully stretched, fully contracted. So for triceps we were fully contracting. That's where your bicep's fully stretched, so we're gonna do a movement in that position now. So incline curls is good. You can do it with a bench if you want for more stability. I actually get a better contraction doing these stanton, so that's exactly how I'm gonna roll with it. The main key is making sure your elbows is behind you at all times. So elbows behind at all times and curl up and squeeze. And whenever you're lower and you wanna fully contract the triceps at the bottom to fully stretch the biceps, full squeeze, stretch.
Well, that's us finished. Done and dusted up there. If you like that, just hit me a wee subscribe, leave a comment, or just DM me on Insta for any videos you want, plain and simple, and thank you.